What is force and is it legally required to have for heavy goods vehicles and bus operators in the UK? So force, Fleet Operator Recognition Scheme, is a type of accreditation that fleet operators can obtain. However, it is not legally required to, to have um, and to operate vehicles in the UK. It is obviously very good practice to, to have this accreditation and uh, what it does, it demonstrates uh, very good uh, compliance standards in terms of um, application of driver training, um, care of the vehicles, um, care of the environment and impact on the environment. However, force accreditation is not seen by DBSA or traffic commissioners as, um, as enough to demonstrate the, the compliance from the operator licensing point of view because the force audit only Mm, goes into the vehicle and um, driver compliance uh, in the mm, very small part, so it doesn't go deep enough to demonstrate to pick up all the potential issues that the company will have. Nevertheless, the, it does go into it, and uh, if you do have force accreditation, you will be audited on a regular basis, and your audit your auditor most likely will be able to point you out in the. Uh, in any shortcomings that you may have with your operator license as well. However, it is very important to understand that uh, there's been many cases where people were even at the gold level uh, thinking that they are compliant with their operator operator license um, because of that. However, they were they were not, and um, they were kind of under wrong impression. So even these days, force auditors before the audit um, takes place, they inform you that this is not a full operator license audit. What is important to know that operator um, for the operators, fleet um, operator recognition scheme is something that is very good to have because there is a level of driver training that um, they offer the e-learning modules for the drivers which are completely free for them. It, it increases their awareness about cycle safety, about pedestrian safety, about uh, bridge strikes. There are some very good courses on there and, and they are absolutely free. So it's a no-brainer to actually use this for, uh, for your um, drivers and also um, if you want to push your company further to, to actually engage with force, it, is, it provides you a very good uh, level of, um, of improvements in terms of your operation as in operating your fleet, um, vehicle standards and things like that. So to summarize, force accreditation is very good to have. It provides a number of benefits and we absolutely recommend people taking that up. However, it is not legally required. You can operate without that unless obviously your contract says otherwise. However, if you do have it, it is absolutely recommended to go deeper than the audit in terms of your maintenance records driver's hours records and operator license requirements in general. If you would like to hear more about this or if you're interested in force accreditation, if, you're, if you need some assistance with transport compliance in general, we are here to help at Fleet Planner. So obviously we will be happy to answer your questions if you gave us a call. The number is on the screen. My name is Roman and this is a Fleet Planner compliance video. If you like this sort of content, please give us a like, follow, subscribe and see you in next videos.